guys. <laughs> it's your girl, Laura. Thanks for stopping by. This is my YouTube channel. What's up? Before we get started, why don't you subscribe? Because I'm fine and you seem fun because you're here. So we can have fun together, yeah? Okay, cool. <laughs> I am actually on my way to go get Botox and lip injections by a nurse that is local in Austin. Her med spa is called A Pure Med Spa. So I'll link it down below if y'all are wanting to schedule an appointment. The purpose of this video is basically just to answer frequently asked questions about um, like cosmetics enhancements. I wanted to add a quick disclaimer here and just reiterate that this video is simply for educational purposes. I am not in any way, shape, or form advising anyone to get any sort of cosmetic surgery. I just want to educate on those that are simply evaluating if this is indeed something that they want to do. Now let's do a quick mantra to remind ourselves that beauty does come from within and you are absolutely perfect with or without filler. Okay, girl, boy, non-binary whoever you are that is watching this literally you are beautiful no matter what i want you to look look at me are we looking at each other look at me and say this three times loud and proud i am beautiful i am beautiful i do not need enhancements to make myself feel more beautiful because bitch look at you you're shining you're shiny. The thing that I can't stress enough, please do your research, you know, find a doctor via referrals, like from someone that you know that's gotten injections, that you really like the results, or just do a, lots of research. Google is free, the internet is free. I should probably pay attention um, to driving, and I will see you guys whenever we get there. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Christina Tomato and I own Pure Med Spa. What are we doing today? We are doing wrestling kiss in the lips just to lightly enhance them, lift them up, make them a little bit more smooth. We're going to do some Botox in your corrugator muscles from mm -hmm. your forehead, give you a little brow lift and help with those wrinkles on the forehead. For people that are, I guess, a little bit curious between Restylane and Juvederm, because to my understanding, those are the most popular injectables for lips. Can you kind of describe what the difference between the two would be? Uh, Juvederm is a very nice lip filler. It gives you a nice volume, gives you a little smoothness to the lips. Restylane Kiss, the new product, has flex technology in it. So it kind of bends and moves with you without breaking, without the gel breaking up into the lips. So mm -hmm. it really keeps them nice and smooth. It's very lightweight filler, but they're both beautiful for the lips. And then as far as Botox, because I know most people typically decide between like Botox and Dysport, what would you say would the main differences be? The main difference is Botox has a smaller protein molecule and it does not move when injected. Dysport will spread a little bit and it has a larger protein molecule. So it really just all depends on your own personal body and everyone needs to try both of them to mm. kind of decide for themselves which one works best. How much would you say like if someone wanted to come in to get lip filler how much is like the regular cost and then also like for Botox how much would that typically cost? So usually Botox retails about 12 to 13 dollars a unit. Always have specials between 9 to 9.50 a unit. Dysport is around 9 to 11 dollars a unit. Mm -hmm. Specials being around around the $9 a unit. Fillers are anywhere from $450 to $600. Okay, cool. Ice range. Yeah, perfect. Well, I guess, are there any other frequently asked questions that people may ask you? For their first time? How long time? does it last? Oh, okay. How many syringes? Sometimes people will need about two syringes for their lips to have the full optimization. Uh, the Botox usually lasts about three to four months mm -hmm. and fillers usually last about 10 to 12 months. Okay, yeah. You've been at this for like, what? I think like six and a half years. Oh, wow. Austin. I've been in the business for 18 years. Yeah. For anyone that has any additional questions, you know where she's at, up here Med Spa in Central Austin. So if y'all ever wanna come, you know who to see. Come see me. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, here's your official warning. In case there are some of y'all that aren't a fan of needles, please skip ahead to the timestamp you see listed on the screen. Don't worry, I'll give you guys a couple more seconds to skip ahead. I'm going to start the injection process in three, two, one. technique you just did is it's called the lift technique mm -hmm. so if you just put a little filler and pull it back and lift the top up it gives mm -hmm. you that pout look lifted and pouty on the top yeah how long is the healing process would you say i would say a good week to two weeks for the mm -hmm. full healing process mm -hmm. the swelling is about 72 hours and then we just did one syringe correct yes mm -hmm. one syringe of best going to i'm pleased so far but as far as pain tolerance because i know people will be interested in that it kind of hurts but not really like it's not as bad it's like little pinches. So yeah. It's a little annoying, but mm -hmm. it's not like really tough pain. It's bearable. Wow, we did that so quick, like only in four minutes. And I'm super quick. Yeah, there you go. See, another reason to see my girl. <laughs> Botox doesn't hurt like as much as the lips do. And how many units are we doing? We're doing 20 units. Okay. 10 on the glabella and 10 on the forehead. Okay. It's been a while since I've done any of this, so it feels good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it kind of just looks like I popped some pimples after Botox. We're back in the car. I figured I would discuss my experience in further detail. I apologize if I sound weird at all. It's because before um, you do lip injections, they'll numb you up. So I can't really feel my lips. I'm excited to see what the results are. But overall, I have a really good experience with her. I'm so glad I was able to go back because once you find like a good nurse, you just don't that's just something you don't really want to like hop around with. Like you want to stick and find someone that you trust and know that will give you the results that you want. And every single time, I've always been thoroughly impressed. This is what my lips and forehead looks like right afterwards. I don't really have a lot of forehead wrinkles. My only problem area, you can kind of see it, is just like this random like line up here. I'm not very expressive in my eyebrows. I guess where I have more of the expression is right in the middle. So I think that's where she tried to concentrate most of it. For anyone that isn't a fan of needles, I'm sorry. But I have to show the process so that y'all are fully understanding what y'all are getting yourself into, you know? Good morning. <laughs> I just wanted to give you guys a 24 hour update. So as you can see, there are definitely some bruises and it's still a little swollen, but overall you can see like the shape of it. It looks good. So, so far, so good. Also here's an update on my Botox. So from my understanding, Botox takes about like two to three weeks to actually settle in. You probably won't see that much right now just because it's only been a day. Something that I wanted to quickly discuss that we didn't really discuss yesterday is pre and post treatment instructions. A week prior to your appointment, you shouldn't be taking any sort of like blood thinning medicine. So I think that includes like ibuprofen, aspirin, and also goes the same for supplements such as garlic. If you guys are sexually active and you are maybe pregnant, get tested before you do any sort of injection. And if you are in the process of 
breastfeeding, don't get any sort of injections. Before you get your treatment, definitely let your doctor or nurse know if you have any sort of history of cold sores, as I would imagine that if you are injecting any sort of foreign substance in your face, there may be some sort of reaction to that. It's also advised to arrive with a completely bare face, I would imagine, mostly because since they are technically poking holes into your skin, they just don't want any sort of seepage of maybe makeup or dirt and grime to accidentally get inside. Before and after your treatment, make sure that you're avoiding any sort of irritating type topicals on your face. That includes like any sort of retin-A's, retinoids, retinols. I know we love our anti-aging products, especially whenever you're in your late 20s. For a couple of days, please avoid that as it could irritate your skin and cause additional redness and bruising. You should also avoid working out 24 hours after your appointment. I would imagine that the bouncing around may cause some sort of movement. And I know this may be a little bit hard because we definitely love to have fun in the sun, but limit your sun exposure. Wear your sunscreen. You should also avoid alcohol because I'm pretty sure alcohol can increase the chances of swelling. After you get your injections. It is totally normal for your lips to feel a little bit tender. As I mentioned yesterday, they do numb you up, so the tenderness isn't necessarily a thing until a couple hours down the line, whenever the Novocaine kind of wears off. Just add an ice pack and you will be on your way to newer, bigger, juicier lips. <laughs> I think that was everything in terms of the preparation process as well as the post treatment instructions. I just wanted to add that additional insight because I know a lot of people are probably curious what they can do to receive optimal results. For more information, I have included a couple of bullet points that Christina sent over to me, both before and post-treatment. So please pause this video and take a couple screenshots that you can use for future reference. Hi, you guys. <laughs> it's the next day, if you can't tell. Oh, Maddie, are you coming? This is Maddie. I don't know if I've ever said this on my, oh yeah, hi, some kisses. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever announced this on my YouTube channel before, but something that I do is Rover. So if you guys have a dog or a cat that needs babysitting while you guys go on vacation or want a staycation and a break from the kiddos or something, <laughs> let me know because I have a five-star rating. Hashtag humble brag, but <laughs> I wanted to give a 48 hour post-treatment update. Um, I'll get a little bit closer up. As you can see, the bruising is definitely still there. It's still a little swollen. Yesterday I was, I'll be honest, I was a little nervous to do any sort of like movement in my forehead because have y'all seen Cinderella story where the mom, the stepmom gets Botox and then they get in that car accident or whatever and she like, couldn't move her face and then all of a sudden she can move her face because she's being so expressive. Uh oh. I think I need to use a litter box. Ew. Oh my god. My face is back. Ever since then I just always have been so nervous to like move my face a lot like right after I get Botox. It's you know definitely settled more in so I'll give you a close up of like everything right now. So I think it does look a little bit smoother, but I am gonna try and raise my eyebrows. So yeah, yeah. And then the frown, so raising, frown. So as you can see, I definitely still have movement. I'm curious if it's gonna tighten any more. I only got 20 units. Manny, did you wanna see? else do viewers Maddie? Yeah. <laughs> oh she's so cute. Hey guys um I feel like tanner it's because I got a spray tan and I just got out of the shower so I washed off my first layer but ooh she tan. We like it. I did just want to give y'all a 72 hour update post 
treatment and this is what it's looking like um the bruising i feel like has definitely gone down it's obviously still present but it looks better the swelling's a little bit lower i feel like the next significant change that i'll see will be at the week mark so i'll probably see you guys in a week to show y'all like how that has recovered to give y'all kind of like the final result i will do a quick close-up here we go close-up and then here's what my forehead looks like Definitely looks smooth. We like that. Now let's put it to the test. Yeah, I can, I still, I still have movement. Honestly, I don't foresee myself getting fully frozen with the amount that I did. I've gotten 20 units before and I like having like a small amount of movement because then it doesn't look unnatural. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you like the stiffness, like do you, that's the look that you're trying to achieve, go off. Um, but personally, I like to have a little bit of movement. Like I said, I'll check in with you guys once we hit that week mark to see if there's been any other significant changes. Well, hi you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm in a different location because I'm actually at my new parents' house in Florida. It is Friday, so about a week and a half since I got my lip injections and my Botox. So I just wanted to give you all a quick update. I waited a little bit longer just because I felt like once I hit the week mark, I still had like some slight bruising and I kind of wanted to wait until all the bruising was gone so I can give you all an honest update on how long you can expect to have, um, you know, little speckled bruises. But nonetheless, we're here and I think Everything looks pretty good. I'll give y'all a close-up. I don't have any chapstick on, so if I look crusty, I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, I think it looks very natural, very subtle. Here it is from the sides. And the front. Looks very symmetrical. I feel like it complements my face shape and everything. And then here is also my forehead. very smooth so let's raise yeah so like as you can see raising my eyebrows like I'm trying to squint so I can't really frown but overall I am thoroughly impressed with the results so I just wanted to let y'all know that on average it I guess took me about a week and a half to have the product fully settled in. I guess that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, which hopefully you did, um, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you can see more of me because I'm so wonderful. You know, I'm so wonderful. See more of me, yeah? <laughs> and then follow me on my socials. I love you guys. I will see you guys in the next one, okay? Love you.